Hello everyone, Tara LaMagna here. Today we are going to take a deeper dive into Project Broadcast. Last time we went over the basics, 101, how to import contacts, how to schedule text messages, all of those things. And today we are going to talk about campaigns, we are going to talk about landing pages, and how to share content with others. These three pieces are some of my favorite parts of Project Broadcast. So without further ado, let's dive in. I am going to go to my Project Broadcast account so that you can see all of what I'm doing. So we're logged into Project Broadcast. We're going to talk about campaigns first. So for campaigns, we're going to go to automation. You're going to click campaigns. And basically, I mentioned this last time, but I'm going to mention it again. A campaign is a set of automated text messages that will go out to whoever you'd like, right? So you can set it up so that they get these text messages on a certain date and time. You can also set it so that they get one each day for seven days, whatever you'd like. So this works great for communicating with team members, communicating with customers, all of the above. So in order to create a new campaign, you're going to click the plus button and you're going to create a name, whatever you want it to be. This is just a test, so I'm going to call it test. And then they have all of these different types of campaigns. And not only that, but they tell you what it means. So a drip campaign is multiple messages sent to contacts based on a day delay and time from when you join the campaign. So a drip campaign is actually great for example, for a new consultant campaign. So I have a whole text string that goes out to new consultants. All I have to do is add them to the campaign and then they get all of my onboarding text messages. They get one each day for, I think it's seven or eight days. You also have time-lapsed. That's based on an hour and minute delay from when they join the campaign um, event. So many of these I don't, I haven't actually used. I've only used drip and calendar. Calendar is multiple messages sent to contacts based on a specific date and time. I like to use the calendar ones for team messages. Um, like for example, right now I'm running a team block party. And so I have messages going out daily to those consultants who are participating in our team block party with different things that they can do each day. Um, and those are specific dates. So, uh, and then you have birthday that you can do. Um, so if you have your customer or team members birthdays or anniversary of their join date, you can have it send one message to contacts every year on their birthday. Okay. So those are the options, but really I, like I said, I focus on drip and calendar. So let's go with drip here. Click check. All right, so now we can manage messages here. Um, the only other thing we can do here is add contacts, which we don't want to do yet. You don't want to add contacts until you have the campaign completed. So manage. Then you're going to click the plus sign up here on the top right. And this is where you start your messages. So this would be message one. You can call it whatever you want. Maybe you want to call it um, welcome. Um, and you can say whatever you want in it. Um, like, thanks for, um, or I'll just do welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Let's say I'm talking to a team member. Welcome to the team. So excited for you. And your new biz. You guys get the idea. You can say whatever you want, okay? Etc. You can also attach messages and then here's your day delay. So specify the number of days to wait before sending this message. Setting it to zero will send it immediately if a contact joins after the time set on messages. So if this is my first message, I'm going to set it to zero because I want them to receive this as soon as they get enrolled in my campaign. One thing I do even even so is this is actually on the next one. Um, I don't set a time for here because whenever I add um, 
someone to a new campaign, it's not like at a crazy time of day. It's not like at 6 a.m. or something like that. Um, you do want to keep in mind that some people that you enroll in a campaign might be in a different time zone, right? So if you do want to select a time, because maybe you do like to get up at 6 a.m., I do get up at 6 a.m., but I don't usually add people to campaigns. But let's just say you want to play it safe. You want them to receive it, but you don't want them to receive it at a crazy hour. You can click here, set a time. 1130 sounds like a great time, 1130 a.m. So I'm going to click that. It's in there. Um, and then you can also apply a keyword to a contact after the message is sent. I don't use that. Um, you can if you want to. Okay, click the check button. Check button. What is it saying? Oh, zero. Okay, yes, I do have to. Sorry, I did have to hit zero there. Then I'm done. Okay, so now I can edit this campaign at any time. By the way, I can go back in. Um, and if I want to mess it, if I want to edit that message, I just click the little notebook with a pen and it'll bring it back up just like it showed before and I can change it however I'd like. So then I'm going to click this back button here um, and I'm going to click the plus button again. And so this is, I will say day two message. Again, it's a new um, team member. So today I might give them a task to do. Um, a simple task, whatever it may be. I will type it in here, gibberish for now. And then I will do a day delay. So it's a one day delay from the first message and it's going to go out at 11.33 a.m. again, or 11.32. All right, I click check and done. So this, you guys get the idea. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but let me show you. So over here on the left side, it shows you the campaigns you've already created. So this is my new consultant campaign. So I have eight messages that go out. And if I click the arrow to the right here, it shows me all the messages. I can then go click on any of these messages, read what it says, update everything, anything that I want to be updated, I can. Um, it also shows me how many people have received these. So like welcome message one, 190 people have received it. Um, and you'll get that as well. Um, and then I have some that are queued because I have current new consultants on my team. So that haven't received it yet. So that shows one queued. That means message two. I have one person who's going to receive that, um, as of now. So that is that that's campaigns, super simple, super easy. Um, so like I said, if you see on the left side, I've done it for 12 days of Christmas. Um, that was fun. I do it for my core team block parties. Um, you could do it for order follow-ups as well. Um, new consultants, um, self-care, uh, training promotion. You can do it what, however, for whatever you'd like it to do, but it's a great way to do it. So let's say I want to enroll someone into one of my campaigns. So I'm going to, there's a few ways you can do this actually. Um, so you can go to 12 days of Christmas. You can go to, let's just say I'm doing that one. Um, contacts, click the arrow over. You can add, click the add button here and choose someone and click the check mark. I'm not going to do that because I don't want people to get these, but you can click someone's name and you can click the check mark and they're now enrolled in that campaign. Another way you can do it is go to audience, go to contacts, find your person, and under that person, you can see add campaign. So I can click add campaign. And from here, I can choose whichever campaign I want them to be assigned to. I click it. I click the check mark. They're now enrolled in that campaign. So it's super, super simple and easy. That's the part that that's part of why I love Project Broadcast, because it's so simple. All right. Let's talk landing pages. So landing pages is under content. Landing pages is huge. Look at all the landing pages I have. I have so many landing pages. <laughs> I'm a big fan of landing pages. And I got to tell you guys, I was very hesitant to begin with when um, I first, like before I, I was very hesitant to start using landing pages because I didn't understand how they worked. I didn't understand what they were. So before I show you, how to, I want to show you what, okay? So this, for example, is my main website, taralamagna.com. If you go there, this is what pops up. This is a landing page 
from Project Broadcast that I have created. It gives you um, every, all of the new information, anything that's going on in my business, specials, gives you shop now, right? Um, they can message me from here. Um, they can join my VIP group. They can learn more information about the business opportunity. Uh, again, shop now, message me, information at the bottom. So this is what a landing page looks like. This is one example. There's many examples, right? So that is just one. Um, here's another one. I'll just show you a couple different ones. Um, this is my core team weekly newsletter that I send out, um, has all important information, shout outs again with the information on, um, specials for the month, incentives, all of those things. Um, I have also created a landing page shop and scroll party for customers. Um, I haven't quite shared this with everyone yet because I literally just started this and um, it's in its testing phase, meaning I always tell you guys, I don't share anything with you that I haven't tried and found to be successful. Um, so I haven't shared this yet and I'm not going to <laughs> because I'm not finding a hundred percent success with this yet. So but this is just another example of what a landing page can look like. So how do you create those? So you can go into landing pages. You can click the add button. You can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm naming this one test because it's test. Um, but whatever you name it, like mine, I have Tara's main page. That's my main landing page. Make sure it's something that you, it's easy to understand. Um, that's the name. The title is actually what shows up as the title in the browser tab when the link is shared. So this is something that the public will see. That's the title. So for example, if it's somebody's, um, let's just say I'm doing my main website, um, Tara Lamagna, maybe I just want it to say Tara Lamagna as the title. And then the description is what shows up when you share the link with someone. Um, so Again, short and sweet. Learn more about non-toxic skincare, hair care, and makeup. We'll call about that, okay? So whatever you want them to see. Now, you can also add a social sharing image. This is the image that's going to pop up when you send your link, your landing page link to anyone. Mainly when you send it via messenger or text, it will not only share the um, the website, it's also going to share an image that you can pull up, okay? Or that that you create. It's going to give them a glimpse as to what the web page looks like. So the other great thing is Project Broadcast, once again, tells you what size it should be. So it's recommended that it be 1,200 by 630. Minimum is 200 by 200. This is why it's great to also have Canva. Canva, you can go in and you can very specifically create a size document that you want. Um, so what was that size? 1200 by 630. 1200 by 630. Um, I can search templates for that. Um, I can also create a design. Um, if I click create a design, 1200 by 630, create a custom size will pop up. I click on that, 1200 by 630, create a new design. Here I am. So this can be whatever I want it to be, okay? Canva is your friend when it comes to project broadcast. Okay, so you will figure out um, a social sharing image that you'd like, and you will um, add it. Let's just put in there Project Broadcast 101 for now. Okay. So let's say that's my project. That's my, that's my sharing image. Okay. Then you're going to click start designing. So look at this. This is where I started with my landing page, all of my landing pages. Um, this is where I started. Project Broadcast gives you a variety to choose from. Okay, so let's just pick this one here. 
as an example. And I will show you. So this is what it looks like. Um, you can either click in here and change things or you can try it on the right side. The cool thing about this is it's okay if you make a mistake. All right, nobody's seeing this yet. So play around with it um, and you will find it to be very fun. <laughs> it's gonna be very fun. Um, it might be as with anything with learning new things, right? It might take you a little bit of time, might get frustrated here and there, but trust me when I say you will understand it the more that you work with it. So let's say here, um, anywhere I want to change, I'm just going to start at the top with my logo. Okay. Um, I actually don't care about that. So I am just going to delete that section. Okay. Um, next up, maybe I want to change this text. I can change it. I can just type there and change it to whatever I want it to be. And again, guys, this is just me showing you how to change things. Okay. Next thing is this section. Um, so what I recommend doing is for this, um, I you can just click here, click on different things and any text, you can just click on it and change it. Um, with the images, you can do the same. But the other thing you can do is see these plus signs here. You can add a row. And if I want to add a row, I can click here. It says no content, drag content from right, or I can just click here and click the add content. If you see to the right side here, you can make this two columns if you want, or you can change it up however you'd like. They have different options. Um, and all you do is click over here and select however number of, of columns you want, right? Then you can click add content. And then on the right, you're just going to click whatever you wanna add and drop it. So for example, so click, hold, and drop. So let's say I want to add an image. Click, hold, and drop. Then I'm going to click here. And on the right side, it shows upload image. So I'm just going to click that. And I can upload any image from my computer. We're just going to keep going with the project broadcast. <laughs> so you see that there. The other cool thing is once I add an image like this on the right side, I can scroll down to action. I can add a link. So if I wanted to, I could type in, let's say I, let's say it's, I, I want them, if they click on this, I want them to go to my video training on Project Broadcast 101. I can copy and paste the video training right in here. I'm just going to put youtube.com in there for now. And what the action is going to do is going to open the website when they click on it. Okay. You can also send an email, call a phone number, send an SMS, go to paper, go to page section. You can do any of these. I've only ever done open website, but there's a lot to play with. Um, okay. So you can do that. Okay. So anything else? Um, again, if I want to delete a section, I don't like this section. I'm going to delete it. Okay. All I do is click in the colored area and then I click the, the, um, the trash can. The other thing I can do is I can duplicate. Let's say I want two of those sections. Bam, done, two sections. Um, this is maybe where I want to put the specials uh, for the month. So I'm gonna add the different graphics. So again, I click on an image, I click upload image, and I can pick any kind of graphic I want, okay? I can also type down here, whatever I want. It's so simple, you guys, I can't tell you how simple this is. The other thing, um, so you can, you get the idea. Um, the other thing, let me just show you. So I'm going to add more content. I'm going to click here, add content. So I can add a heading text image. I can add a button. A button is great. They already have some here, but if I add a, um, a button, um, I can click on the button. I can change it to shop now. And then on the right side, if I increase the font size, it increases the button size. I can also make this, um, you see this pops up here once I click or highlight anything. I can make it bold. I can make it tail-sized, underlined, whatever I want to do, right? And the other thing, if I click on the button again, on the right side, I can change the color of the button, okay? I can also change the hover color. 
super simple. I can also change the text color. So let's say I want it to be blue, right? So this is so simple. I can't tell you guys um, how simple it is. So the other thing is, don't forget, you if you're creating a button, you want to attach an action to it. So on the right side here, under URL, you're going to copy and paste a website link. So shop now, where do I want that to go? I want that to go to a party link or an event link that I have, right? So I'm going to go to my website, copy that party link and paste it here. When you're working with this, you're absolutely going to have multiple tabs open. I always have Canva open. I always have my website open so I can copy paste there. Facebook sometimes to grab graphics from there. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and if you have dual monitors for your computer, that's really even better, but not necessary. Okay, so here's another thing. Um, if I want to add a video, so let me add a video. Again, this is not beautiful to look at. It's just me showing you um, what it looks like, okay? So let me go to YouTube, grab a video um, that I have put together. I'm going to grab this one just as a, um, an, an option. Okay. So I'm going to go back. I got my video link. I'm going to go back. I'm going to click on the video and I am going to drop that video URL there. And then ba -ba -ba, look at that. There's my video. Now when they click this, they can watch the video right in this screen. Um, okay. So those are the basics of how to add content at the bottom. You can also add your social media um, links. So let's say I don't want, um, I don't want the Skype um, or one of these. I don't even know what the, oh, it's Telegram <laughs> and Skype. Okay. So on the right side, if I don't want it, I can just click delete underneath and it will delete it. I can also add my Instagram account so that if they click that, it takes them to my Instagram or my YouTube, right? I don't even know if this is right, but um, I don't know if it's right for YouTube. I know it's right for Instagram, <laughs> but you can also add others if you want to. Like if you have TikTok, you can add, or not TikTok, uh, that's Tumblr. You can add TikTok if you want. You can add whatever you want, okay? So basically, super simple. Click whatever you want to change and it's easy to do, okay? The other thing is, let's say I want to change this background color, okay? So if I want to change the background color, I am going to background color for this. It's set at just white. Let's say I want to change it to blue so you can see how that changed there. Let me change it here. It'll be a, a bigger um, a bigger wow factor here. Okay, so click here, change the background color. I'm going to change this one to blue as well. And then if I want to change the other two columns, I simply just click on the column here and I change that um, blue. Okay. Um, and then there's also, if you scroll down, row properties. So say I want to get rid of the purple. I scroll down, I go to row properties, I go to background color there, and I can change it. That's really ugly, um, but you get the idea, okay? You can change it whatever color you want. You can also, pro tip, go to Canva. Let's say I have a, um, let's say in Canva, I have a design that I want to use a color for. This is a pro tip. I have a design I want to use a color for. Maybe this is my this is my um, top image for project broadcast, um, and I want to match the color. Okay, I will click on the color that I want to match. Let's say I want to match that mid blue. I click on that. I click and look at that. Canva shows me the color. I can copy paste the color. Copy. And I want to make this that same color blue. So I'm just going to type it in here and bam, it's the same color from the Canva. Okay. So now that that looks really ugly and gross, we're going to save it so everybody can see it. <laughs> Let's just pretend it looks beautiful. So click save, um, click the check mark, and there's my website. There's my page. So if I scroll down, 
it shows me the URL. So if I copy that URL, I put it in a new, I'll show it to you guys. So this is what everybody sees, how ugly. Um, if I send them that URL to my landing page, okay? So that's landing pages. That's the basics of landing pages, the basics of campaigns. But I will tell you guys right now, one of the things that I absolutely love about Project Broadcast is bundles. What is a bundle? So a bundle is a way for me to share what I've created with all of you. It's a template, right? So I can go to content. I can go to bundles. So I've ha I have a bunch of these as well, but let's go to um landing page main main landing page okay let's go to this one main landing page okay so this is a bundle i have created this bundle allows me to send all of you guys if i take if i copy my share id okay that's my share id i can send you this gibberish here and you can import that bundle and when you do that you will get a copy of my main landing page that I showed you before that you can change and make your own, okay? So it's a template that I've created that you can change and make your own. You can also do this with campaigns. You can do it with um, literally anything you want. Campaigns, templates, keywords, landing pages, everything, the whole kit and caboodle you can share, okay? Um, so how do you import a bundle once you give it, once I give it to you? So say I give you my landing page bundle. Awesome. You have the code. What do you do now? So now you will go to, uh, I have to remember, <laughs> you have to go to the three dots and import bundle. Then you can paste the share ID that I give you and you can click get info. All right. Now it tells you what I'm sharing with you. The bundle includes my landing page, right? You can click import and it's going to give you, see bundle imported. Yay. I have it. Tara's given me a huge gift and I shall use it. Okay. So now I'm going to go to um, content landing pages. I'm going to hit refresh and it's going to show it. See, it's, I already have this. <laughs> I should have done a, a test one so you could see it, but um, my main landing page will show up for you. So, it, and you can click refresh. It'll be at the very top. So now you can go in to my landing page and you can edit everything and make it your own. It, it is not going to change my landing page whatsoever. It is going to be your own landing page but it will allow you to change everything as I just showed you how to do in landing page. Okay. So you can click edit, then you can go in and you can swap out whatever you want to swap out. Um, definitely you're going to want to swap out what I write because it's my voice, not yours. Right. And you can add change. Um, everything. Okay. So that is how to import a bundle. Now let's say you want to share something you've created with the team, which would be amazing and I would love it. Um, you're going to click the plus sign and you're gonna name the bundle, okay? Name it whatever you want. And let's say I wanna share one of my campaigns. So I'm gonna add a campaign. I'm gonna click whatever campaign I want to add. Um, let's say I created a landing page too, um, for new consultants. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just going to add the monthly newsletter. It's fine. Uh, that's it. Done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now here is my share ID. I can send this share ID to anybody and they can have that template to use at their, uh, use for whatever they want. All right. That's it, guys. That is, that is what we cover today. Campaigns. That is landing pages. That is bundles. When I tell you this is huge for your business and it will change how you work it, it will change um, how you present information to customers. Uh, 
it's going to be huge for you. Just dive in, work with it. Okay. And now the other thing that you can do once you have this is now I text my customers, my landing page. I email them my landing page because it looks really great on a cell phone. Um, the landing page looks awesome on a cell phone, very polished. It has everything all in one. It's a great way to get information out there. The possibilities are endless with this. Um, also like for any of my graphics, um, any of my cover banners, my cover photos for events on Facebook or my personal timeline or my VIP group in the, um, description of the photo, I always include my landing page, terralamagna.com. Um, so makes it super simple. Um, and then the cool thing is, is if you do it that way, anytime I make an update to my landing page, it automatically updates. So like, I don't have to share a new link again. So instead of, I don't know about you guys, if you do this or not, but I used to have to constantly up date my party link that I wanted people to shop from. I'd have to update it in all the different places that I share it. But now I don't have to do that because when I update it in my project broadcast, it's going to be updated everywhere else that I've already posted at. So it's a huge time saver. Um, it looks really great. And there's so many, like I said, there's so many possibilities for this. All right. So hope that was helpful. Um, I will share my bundle codes with my team members. So if you're on my team, I have those gifts for you. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. But definitely dive in and get using it as soon as you can.